Hello. In this video I'm going to talk about one of the most common functions in NumPy is uh, NumPy ArcSort. I created this video because I found this function applied in few machine learning and deep learning projects and now I'm trying to understand the logic of this function and apply it in practice. So this is the reason why I created this video and Let's start with uh, official description from uh, NumPy documentation. And documentation tell us that this function returns the indicates that would sort an array. Perform an indirect sort along the given axis using the algorithm specified by the kind keyword. It returns an array of indicates of the same shape as variable A that index data along the given axis in sorted order. I think it's quite complicated sentence and uh, I wanted to highlight that ArcSort function has a few different variation in data structure. I mean that it can be applied to different structures like matrices, like uh, multidimensional arrays and so on. But uh, in order to understand the logic of uh, this function, let's move to the very simple example. In this example we have very simple list of uh, numbers. We have a 5, 4, 1, minus 2 and 3. So type equal to list and uh, in order to understand the logic of this function uh, the first thing in my opinion is to make indexation of elements in array. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, it's not a rocket science, so let's go to the next step. And the next step is to make a sorting. And what does it mean? Now we are generating new NumPy array, and this NumPy array will be our result. So the sorting begins from the lowest value of uh, elements. And in our example, it is minus 2. Minus 2 is the lowest value, and it has index equal to 3. So, minus 2 brings uh, its index 3 and uh, it go to the first location. And so we write 3 value in the first location on our results. The next higher value is 1 index equal 2. So we have to move index equal 2 to second location. So the next uh, higher value is 3, index of 3 is 4, so we have to move index uh, to the next location in our result array. The next value is 4, index is 1, so we have to move index 1 to the next location. And so far we have 3, 2, 4 and 1. What is the last value? Of course it is 0 because the rest value untouched is 5 and it has index 0 and we have to move index 0 to the last uh, location of our result array. So it is the result of uh, NumPy ArcSort. It is a array and dtype is integer32 and uh, it's quite simple. We have input variable a is 5, 4, 1, minus 2 and 3 and we have output, output is variable b is 3, 2, 4, 1 and 0. So this is the input, this is the output and thank you for watching this video. I hope you get the logic of NumPy arc source function. If yes, I hope that you will apply it in practice and became even more stronger data scientists. See you on the next video.